My topic is school closures. It's ironic, I'm a school teacher. <laughs> Going to school, I always wanted to have school closures. When you're a kid, you always, you, you're always excited when grandma calls you up or mom says, there's no school today, honey, sorry. One of my most fondest memories is my grandmother. She would listen to KPQ, she would listen to the radio, and she would tell us any, any time that we had any type of school closure, or there was something extended, or a late start, Grandma was always cool like that. <laughs> One year, on April 1st, she pulled the meanest <laughs> joke. <laughs> she called me up and woke me up at 6 in the morning, and she said, Skylar, I've got something to tell you. The school has burned down. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, that's awful, Grandma. She's like, yep, yep, I heard it on KBQ, and I wanted to let you know that the school burned down so you can sleep in today. And then she never told me it was April Fool's, so I went back to bed. Oh, <laughs> Mom comes in, and I was always waking myself up. Mom never woke me up. It was a rare, rare occasion for Mom to ever wake me up. Mom comes in, and she's like, honey, you got to get to school. I'm like, Mom, no, it's okay, the school burned down. <laughs> She's like, what? The school burned down? Yeah, yeah, I heard it from Grandma. She told, her, she told me on the <laughs> The school did not burn down. Skylar, today is April 1st. That's one of my fondest memories. <laughs>